אנחנו רוצים לבדוק מה עושים הבריטים ש... שצריך לזכור, נכון, דוקטור? הבריטים ביטלו שם את כל המגבלות לפני כמה חודשים. נכון. הם אמרו, יאללה. זו הטעות הגדולה שלהם. גם מי אולי... שמסתובב וטס לחו"ל והיה בלונדון, ראה שהם מסתובבים שם בלי מסכות, חופשי, כאילו הישראלים הם היחידים שמסתובבים בלונדון עם מסכות. יפה. <laughs> אז עכשיו הם משלמים את המחיר כנראה על הדבר כן. הזה, על המדיניות הזו. איתנו הדוקטור אלי פרידמן, הוא אפידמיולוג שחי בבריטניה. אנחנו מדברים איתו לאורך המגפה הזו פעם אחר פעם. דוקטור פרידמן, good morning, sir. Good morning. We are so happy to have you with us in this morning. And I, I want to ask you, that whether, are you being swept away by the Omicron variant? Um, well, not yet, but our predictions are that it's going to be a very big wave in the country. So at the moment, we've got good evidence that Omicron is taking over from Delta, and we've got a modest increase in the number of cases. But we would predict by the end of the month that it will be a very large increase in cases, and we suspect that that will mean that the number of hospitalizations and unfortunately deaths will start increasing. We suspect at the end of December and by January there will be a very large increase in the number of deaths. Well, th- this is very worrying, I'm guessing, because just a few months ago we've been, we've been hearing. Um, your prime minister and your ministers and your government saying that all restrictions are off the table yes I I, I think a, a, a lot of us epidemiologists felt that the government was being over optimistic even at that time obviously nobody expected the new variant and we still don't know a lot about it we could clearly know that it's much more infectious we don't yet know how virulent it will be but it is so much more infectious that even if it is less virulent it will lead to a substantial increase in the number of cases and therefore in the number of ultimate deaths that occur it's a bit too early for anybody yet to know uh, what the impact will be because we're not yet aware of how the Um, good the, the vaccines will be we're not sure how virulent it will be but um, to give you an indication at the moment in the UK we're experiencing about 4,000 deaths every month from the from covid and I would suspect that to at least double in January but doctor due to omicron due to this new variant has Britain a gone back to the restrictions? Uh, is there a mandatory mask wearing? Is, is anything, has anything changed? Mm. Yes, yeah, so some things have changed. Um, so there is more mask wearing. There is um, a, a request for more people to work from home. There has been some introduction of vaccine passports, but um, the measures that have been put in thus far are relatively small. Um, clearly, quite a lot of the population now are used to COVID and have therefore taken their own measures, uh, more social distancing, for example. And that may um, have a beneficial effect, even though the government restrictions at the moment are rather modest. I suspect that there's a political issue in terms of Christmas and not wanting to spoil Christmas too much, both for social reasons And because of the major impact it has on a number of, of businesses yeah so I suspect that we will see more stringent uh, rules coming in but I think the government will try to delay it until just after Christmas yeah and and the vaccination rate in Britain is so the vaccination rate is quite heavily dependent on age the big issue with vaccinations is to get a booster dose. Because the evidence is that it's only really when you've had the booster dose that you get good levels of antibodies. And at the moment, we've got 22 million people who've been given the, back, the, the booster dose. That's, of course, mainly in the elderly, which is the most important group. But we've got a long way to go to get to the levels overall in the population that we've seen with the first two doses, which is about 80 percent of the adult population. All right, Dr. Friedman, thank you so much for talking with us, and uh, we hope that you are going to go through this wave safely. 
Thank you for joining us. Let's hope so. Thank you. Thank you.